Islandora is an open source framework designed to help institutions and organizations and their audiences to collaboratively manage and discover digital assets using a best practices framework. It uses Drupal as a front end and deploys other open source technologies such as Fedora and Solar to deliver a complete digital assets management solution. Or put more simply, Islandora is Drupal as a front end over Fedora as a storage layer. We use Drupal 8 as both the presentation layer of Islandora that your end users will visit to explore your collections, and also the management layer that administrative users will use to build those collections on the website. Drupal is a very popular open source content management system that is used and supported by a community of over a million. It has built-in support for accessibility standards and a very simple and very powerful graphical user interface that puts website building in the hands of non-developers. It's a modern technical architecture with a very robust interface for developers as well when it comes to time to build customizations. Although the storage layer in Islandora is ultimately flexible, it's designed to work with Fedora. This is an open source, community built and supported project that provides flexible and configurable disk storage architecture. From Fedora, Islandora gains Fixity Digest Generation, Memento versioning, which you may know is the standard that's supported by the Wayback Machine, an audit trail, and with Fedora 6, we will have access to the Oxford Common File Layout. OCFL is an application-independent approach to the storage of digital objects in a structured, transparent, and predictable manner. It's designed to promote long-term access and management of digital objects within digital repositories. Islandora's major versions are built around major versions of Drupal. And while it does stretch back all the way to Drupal 5, the most popular versions of Islandora are Islandora 7 and Islandora 8. Islandora 7, seen here as a cheeseburger, was a more vertically integrated platform where Drupal served as the presentation layer, Fedora was the only possible storage layer, and Islandora acted in the middle as a way of using Drupal as a management layer for Fedora storage. We use Solar as our search and discovery layer, making it a cheeseburger rather than a simple hamburger. And all of the different solution packs and utility modules and different tools that you could enable or disable, depending on your particular institutional needs for Islandora, are the toppings on the cheeseburger that you use to customize. This metaphor no longer applies in Islandora 8, which is a much more modular application. So instead, we use the metaphor of the bento box, because all the various components of Islandora 8 all of which are open source, can be removed and replaced much more easily. For instance, it's relatively simple to swap in a different image processor for your image microservice, or to swap in an entirely different search engine in Islandora 8. Like a Bento box, you can pick a piece out, put something different in, and the rest of the stack is completely untouched. Why choose Islandora? Drupal itself is one of the primary benefits. By having a website front-end built into your repository solution, Islandora becomes a relatively turnkey approach to having a digital repository. Drupal itself is also fairly easy to customize using a graphical user interface, so you don't need developer time to build your site. We are also able to leverage the effort and support of over a million users in the Drupal community. With Islandora 8, any Drupal contributed module can be plugged into your Islandora site and deployed on your Islandora content without any extra developer time or customization on your part. This vast library of Drupal contributed modules also helps to make Islandora extremely adaptable. You can pick and choose different modules, different viewers, different metadata standards, and configure Islandora to the particular needs at your institution. And in Islandora 8, as much of this as humanly possible has been surfaced into the graphical user interface, so again, you don't need developer time to customize Islandora to your needs. Islandora has an extremely active peer support community, with more than 300 institutions deploying Islandora worldwide, and many people from those institutions participating in the open source project to build and sustain Islandora. There are also multiple service companies with a lot of experience working with Islandora, so you can have paid support available if that's the route you want to take. Islandora is completely open source and developed in the open. 
and it is also completely free to use and always will be. There are no license fees associated with Islandora. And finally, you can store anything in Islandora. Any digital object, any metadata. We ship with full support for a number of common standards. And by full support, we mean viewers, derivative generation, content modeling. But Islandora and Fedora are agnostic about what kind of media you put into them. So if you have a digital file type that's fairly obscure and there's no common viewers or common standards behind it, there's nothing stopping you from storing it in Islandora and building your own modeling and displays around it. To learn more about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit islandora.ca.